Gina's the one that thinks that up. Yeah, something <laughs> unique. Yeah, we'll, we'll check. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> you want to turn down? Can turn it down. Down? Is that it? Be you now. <laughs> yeah. If possible, can we share how Robbie's Rainbow started, the experience? Because I think that's... Um, And welcome back to What She Said. I'm Christine Bentley in studio with Gina Kennedy. Yes. And we have uh, we have Robbie Murray, who is now 13, diagnosed with Crohn's at the age of 6, and his mom, Kate Murray. And Robbie had founded Robbie's Rainbow. Now, why? And, and Robbie's, t Robbie's Rainbow, basically, Robbie, tell us. What 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 the money you raise money every year and what where does that money go? Uh, the money goes to children who can't afford their drug treatment for their Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. And also for research. Uh, no. no? We do a little bit of yeah. research, uh, but it's more focused on meeting the immediate needs of the the patient. Uh, we do fund one research project, uh, and that is through um, a researcher at SickKids, Dr. Alexio Muse. Mm -hmm. um, he has successfully cured one child of ulcerative colitis, a rare form of ulcerative colitis, uh, and is now going through the process of um, trying to cure the second child. Right. So um, he is a collaborator. He works with other researchers um, internationally, uh, sharing information on how to, how to find a cure. Um, we have tremendous faith in Dr. Muse and yes. his abilities, and I call him our Doogie Hauser. So. <laughs> um, so. I think that if there is ever a cure, uh, in some way, shape, or form, Dr. Muse will be involved. Great. So. But, Robbie, w this was your idea, and, and here you are. You're sick, and most people would be thinking about, wow, my whole life. I mean, they'd be thinking about themselves, and instead, you were thinking about all the other kids. How did, I mean, wh when did you get that idea that maybe you should do something? Uh, the, ide the idea originally started when I was getting my treatment one day, mm -hmm. and we were in the hospital, and down the, uh, well, down the aisle, i say, but there was a, um, another room, and we could hear Mom crying, and, and she was telling the doctors that she was pleading because her son couldn't get the treatment. And they ended up leaving that day without their son getting the treatment. And when we went home that day, we thought it was terrible, and we wanted to help children who couldn't afford their treatment. That's awesome. I mean, how old were you? Uh, I think I was... Eight at the time. Eight at the time. Eight at the time. Yeah. yeah. That is, I mean, you must be incredibly proud of him. I was. It was moving for me. Um, I'm a mom. I've been on that side of the fence where you're, try you're seeing your child try and fail treatment after treatment. And as a mother, you feel like a bystander. Your, your love is never enough to take away the pain. Um, and you just want to do right by your child. Um, so I could completely relate to her. And I think, and I'm just speaking for you, but I think that you could relate to how that, that young boy was feeling as well. So, um, because he wasn't going to get the medicine. Yeah, nice. Robbie, you live it every day. You know, yeah. you know how that kid feels, especially yeah. when you don't get your medicine. And, right. and you know, it's, it's probably, it's, it's no fun, eh? Yeah. So tell us about Robbie's Rainbow. How do you raise the funds? Tell us the format. Uh, we do a number of fundraisers. We mm -hmm. have one coming up soon on September 7th. Called September 7th, just for our listeners who are in the area. <laughs> and where is it going to be and what's going to happen? Uh, We're having it at the MasterCard Center in Etobicoke. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a hockey and family skate event. Uh, so this is the training ice for the, the Maple Leafs and the Marlies. Ooh, yes. Fun. Um, what's, the, what's the most fun thing that you like about the event that you would want to share? I like all the games that we have. We have a number of games being run that you can play. And play. So on the, Mar on the Maple Leafs side, we do a hockey skills and drills and a scrimmage. And on the Marley side, we do a family skate with Disney characters on ice, uh, and we play some, some games on the ice as well just to get the families engaged and, and having some fun, and there's oh. music playing. But for those who don't play hockey or like to skate, uh, we have an area in the middle 
um, which is off ice, where we have midway games, we have balloon sculptures, face painting, we have mascots that come out, we have silent auction, we have raffle prizes. There's so much going on. So it really is a family day to come out and just enjoy being a family and right. um, just good quality time together. Now, yeah, Robbie, so you won't show us up too much on how good of a skater you are, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Robbie, what year is this for this? Uh, this is the second year? Second year, and, and how much are you hoping to raise? Um, <laughs> we don't usually, yeah, we usually don't put targets on anything because you need to have the money talk. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we're grateful for everything that comes in. We would ideally, our 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 goal is a hundred thousand dollars. Last year, we raised sixty thousand dollars at our first puck event. Wow! So that's it was great. it was tremendous. Yes, so that actually. That not only went to treatment, but it, it funded two innovator uh, research projects at Sick Kids, which are the first of their kind. So it's not only incredibly exciting for us, but Sick Kids Hospital is incredibly excited about the opportunity as well. So Gina, let's put the word out. For all you listeners from coast to coast, right. from Newfoundland out to Victoria, who, you know, maybe you know somebody, or maybe this story hits a nerve with you, mm -hmm. where can they donate, Kate? They can donate online on our website, which is robbiesrainbow.ca. Uh, we have a donate a donation page. <laughs> we we uh, encourage you to show your support because every, every dollar helps. $25 buys a child a day free from pain. Mm -hmm. um, and the impact, I can tell you, because I live it and breathe it every day, is absolutely incredible. We, I think we take things for granted um, doing our day-to-day -day, um, routines, but simply allowing our child, our children, to go to school and be with their friends and have those experiences. Is it, They're invaluable. It's priceless. It is. It it's is. Absolutely. You know, when you when you have a child who has a chronic illness your perspective on life changes because you know when when your child is born and you hold them in your arms you have an idea of what their life is going to be like and when they're diagnosed with a chronic illness it changes and there's a lot of uncertainty so you're managing those feelings and then when your child is failing a treatment and you can't afford to give them a treatment which could quite possibly restore their health and quality of life and it's unattainable it's heartbreaking, it's atrocious, it's unfair. Now you're saying they're close to 250,000 Canadians. How many of those would be children, do you think? 6,000. 6,000. And increasing. 6,000 and increasing. Yeah. And the average cost for a family, even with health benefits, might be 35, for, as they get older, forty, fifty thousand dollars. A lot of money. The government's not willing to pick up the tab. Not okay. So, no. so, but the, but you say you're one group and you're focused towards children. There are three other groups. That's right. So there's Crohn's and Colitis Canada. Right. There's the Canadian Digestive Health Foundation. Yeah. There is ourselves, which is Robbie's Rainbow. So our focus is mainly on okay. children right. and ensuring that families have access to the treatments that their children need. And we ensure that the funds that we raise are actually sit on site at the hospital. So when a when a physician is looking at a, at a child and says they need this particular treatment, it's just a matter of taking them up to the next room and um, debiting the account. There's, there's no hurdles to jump through. The money sits there and it is for them to use... Um, well, I know Gina's over there thinking because you know what? Look at what happened with the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. This is what you need. That's it. We gotta this is what we need to come up with for Crohn's, right? We do. Right? We do. All right, Robbie, what are I we going to do? We've got to make something go viral Robbie, here. Robbie, you've got to, you know, you've got a big heart. <laughs> you've got to start thinking about this. I, I'm... I'm counting on you. <laughs> we something, gotta go to YouTube here. Something that can go viral, that can, you know, that everybody can jump on the bandwagon because you know what? We Canadians are the most generous people on earth. We, we gave the most per capita when when the disaster in Haiti happened. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there is a mom or a dad out there who wants to see another child suffer. Well, Doesn't even your have friends, to be you know, I, mm -hmm. I guarantee that you know who are listening. You know someone who has Crohn's disease, and you've seen them go through it. You know, somebody's off sick at work for, you know, weeks at a time. You know, all of a sudden they they 
dropped a ton of weight. Like you know why. So, so we're yeah. going to be tweeting out some stuff. Yeah. But uh, why don't if there are any listeners out there who have a great idea? Yeah, there we for go. For some kind of a viral challenge where we can raise. It. Two twenty, you don't want thirty, to work. forty million dollars for. <laughs> Sorry, in fact, it's we, Friday. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave. Maybe we'll just yeah. forget the show and start thinking of things. Well, that's it. It's what, nobody wants to do work. You today, know what? So instead of that, let's I think. Work on be, this. I think between Gina and uh, Robbie, we we could come up with something absolutely viral. I think so. What, what, at think? what she said, one sixty seven on Twitter. Let just us know. Tweet us or uh, or tweet uh, Robbie's your, Rainbow. Yeah. Robbie's yeah. Rainbow on Twitter and, and Facebook. Like and us on Facebook. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, we can make this happen i'm sure we, we need can. to make this happen well that's we, it yeah we do absolutely uh we can't thank you enough for coming and we can't thank you enough for raising awareness uh because we we all love our children and we love everybody else's children and we want everybody to have a great day every day yeah robbie good on you for thank doing you. this like that's thank the coolest you. if i was this cool at 13 man I know, I know, I know. He's putting everybody to shame, and, just like, oh. We're very and of proud course, of and of course, he's sitting next to a mom who raised him, so she's well, pretty cool it. too. Oh, yeah. He makes thank, it easy. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, good luck with your event. So September seventh, I just want to you know plug that again. Thank September seventh is the event. Robbie'sRainbow.ca. Check it all out. Wonderful. And the website again. Robbie'sRainbow.ca. Yeah. Dot ca, and you can donate twenty five bucks a, a day. day. Free from pain. A day free from is. pain. Thank you so much. Coming up next, Josh Rackless needs all the help he can get. And we're hoping you'll chime in to give a hand. one 958 8255 or tweet us at what she said 167 This is Canada Talks on Sirius XM. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Wonderful. That was so fun. It was fun. Thank you Thank so you. much for the opportunity. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Thank yep. you. Yep. Here we, go. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah you can take that. No, 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 Rob. Look up. Oh, Gina. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry.